When an Ohio couple building a national demonstration home needed some assistance in making their new house as green as possible, they got some help from some Buckeye students and a class tailor-made for their challenge. Construction Systems Management 670, green building and sustainable construction. We developed this project starting in 2005 uh, called the Universal Design Living Laboratory. And it's evolved from essentially the beginnings of being just universal design. At the beginning stage of this, we were looking at uh, also the green component of this too, so that got embodied into this project as well. The time has come to look at green and sustainability from a practical standpoint, as we have very few resources and need to use them very efficiently. So our home is looking at resources such as water, such as the use of the electricity and using solar power as a replacement for some of the electric needs that we have here in this house. We're doing three green certifications now. The U.S. Green Building Council's Lead for Homes, uh, the uh, NAHB Green Program, and also Energy Star with that. Early on, we wanted to integrate this as a living laboratory for students. Well, we approached the students at Ohio State to see if they would help us with kind of assembling the green program as we understood it. We needed their help as much as they needed to learn from us. It was a great experience working with Mark Leader and having the opportunity to experience uh, the certification process in real life. My role in working with Professor Chen and her 670 class was to act as a liaison between the homeowner, sort of the, the project, and the students, and help divide the class into two teams, one for a National Association of Home Builders certification and one for the LEED certification. The certification is a benefit to a building owner and its employees, but um, the building is more marketable. It's a, it's a more comfortable place to work. It's incentive for people to build green. The student can actually apply what they have learned in the classroom to the real world setting, so that is always very good for education purposes. And also the student uh, interact with the owner and also building professionals working on the project. Uh, students also receive the additional education um, Training, for example, we invite an energy auditor into our class to talk about the certification program, how to audit a house for green and energy efficiency, and the student actually enhance their research skill and capability in the end. What our class learned um, across the board is that deciding up front that you want to build green design and getting the people involved at the very early stages can eliminate a lot of the costs that may come up by doing it as you go. For example, uh, solar passive design is huge in energy efficiency and it costs nothing to incorporate into your design. The students at Ohio State were able to help us take a big set of standards and requirements for both different programs and dice those down into manageable chunks. They each took a section of the requirements for each of the programs and boiled those down to the basics and something that I could understand. They also did a number of, of research initiatives for me. One in particular that comes to my mind was the piece with the recycling. I had no idea where to turn to for uh, finding out about the locations of where I could recycle items, the locations of who would, who would take items, who would pick things up, etc. So they gave me a great jump start in that. It was cool to be on the construction site at that time because we got to see how they were managing waste and how they were uh, separating lim uh, lumber and steel and even the different compost materials to be recycled. So that was cool to see it actually being done. At the end of the class, the students each uh, turned in reports on their section based on which credits they thought were attainable for the project. It's a little too early to tell what the LEED certification level will be. Um, but the credits came in above and beyond what would be required for the NAHB certifications. 
My final goal for this class, I really want to change the attitudes and the behaviors of students who take this class. So I want them to bring the green idea into their daily life and they can also influence other people. So we want to make the earth greener and better in the future. Being in the university environment, the opportunities have just presented themselves one after another and it's been an amazing experience. Not everyone can work with a team of students to get expert, detailed guidance on how to make their home green. But because Mark Later and Rosemarie Rossetti did, anyone visiting their national demonstration home will be able to reap the benefits.